When an elephant dies, something remarkable happens. It's a moment that reveals just how deep and mysterious the emotional lives of these gentle giants truly are. The herd gathers, standing in a silent circle around their fallen friend, golden sunlight filtering through the trees. There's a hush that falls over the group, as if the entire savanna is holding its breath in respect. They reach out, touching the body gently with their trunks. These touches aren't random. They're slow, deliberate, and full of meaning, almost like a final goodbye or a comforting embrace. Some stay completely still for hours, as if holding vigil. Their massive bodies barely move, but you can sense the weight of their sorrow in the air. Others nudge the bones, almost like they're refusing to say goodbye. It's as if they're searching for a sign of life, or maybe just trying to understand what's happened. I've watched a calf press its head against its mother's lifeless body, not ready to let go. The calf's small frame trembling with confusion and grief, clinging to the only comfort it's ever known. I get chills just thinking about it. This isn't just instinct. Scientists believe it's a deep, powerful form of grief. You can see it in their eyes, in the way they move, in the heaviness that settles over the herd. And in the animal kingdom, that's incredibly rare. Most animals move on quickly, but elephants linger, as if they're honoring a memory. But it gets even stranger. Elephants have been seen returning to the same spots where a loved one died, sometimes years later. They seem drawn back, as if the place itself holds a piece of their history. They pause, they examine what remains, not just the bones of family, but any elephant at all. It's as if they recognize the shared experience of loss, no matter whose bones they find. It's like a silent ritual, no trumpeting, no fanfare, just a deep, collective moment of remembrance. Sometimes they even pick up bones and carry them for miles across the savanna. Imagine the strength it takes, not just physically, but emotionally, to carry a piece of someone you've lost. Researchers have a name for this, thanatology, the study of how animals respond to death. It's a field that's only just beginning to uncover the depths of animal emotion. And elephants seem to be the most emotionally complex of all. Their eyes tell stories of joy, pain, and everything in between. So why do they mourn so deeply? Well, take a look at an elephant's brain. It's massive. And the areas linked to memory and emotion are off the charts. Their brains are wired for connection, for remembering, for feeling. Elephants form tight family bonds. They live in matriarchal herds, led by the oldest and wisest female, and every member plays a role in the group's survival and happiness. They remember individuals for decades. Elephants have been known to recognize old friends and family members even after years apart, greeting each other with joyful trumpets and gentle touches. They even show signs of stress and trauma if a companion is injured or taken away. Their distress can last for weeks, sometimes even longer, and it affects the entire herd. The herd will often comfort the grieving surrounding them, touching them, and staying close. It's a powerful display of empathy and support, something we often think of as uniquely human. Imagine growing up with your mother, spending years by her side, only to one day mourn her loss. The pain is real, and the memories linger. That's the reality for elephants. They don't just move on, they carry the memory with them, sometimes for the rest of their lives. Their grief isn't just a reaction, it's memory, it's attachment and maybe even a real understanding of what it means to lose someone. It's a reminder that love and loss are universal experiences. In the end, humans hold funerals. Elephants hold silence. Their rituals may look different, but the emotions behind them are strikingly similar. But the meaning might be the same. Love, loss, and remembrance. In their quiet way, elephants teach us about the power of memory and the depth of connection. If this touched your heart, like, comment, and subscribe, Share your thoughts and stories about animal emotions below, and tell me, do you think animals truly understand death? Have you ever witnessed an animal mourning in your own life? Because after seeing how elephants mourn, I have to believe they do. Their grief is a window into a world of feeling we're only beginning to understand.